You always get XP when you talk. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. You were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Yes, your turn to the dark side is complete. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Are you afraid of her? What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary. That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what'd you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way, we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. She always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, Life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it. I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well... They deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. But what about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. 
I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard? Rex. <laughs> Shepard. Rex. Shepard. Rex. Meme never gets old. Shepard. Rex. Commander. What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. You made the right decision, Skipper. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Oh, she's starting to care about aliens. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Damn, Skipper. It's three times in four sentences for her. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. When did you start liking her? Spectre weapons are getting outclassed. Nah, I can class this armor, he ain't gonna get fucking beaten up like that. See today. <laughs> no credits. I'll never get back. Oh no! What will I do? I'll never be filthy rich. Never. You got Colossus armor too. Holy shit. Twenty-eight, seventy-six. No, 
So many people with glasses on. She's done. I should go. See you later. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Uh. I guess for fun, I could buy that. <laughs> the best kind of rounds. Oh no! I'll never have nine hundred. <laughs> Look at this shit I can sell. <laughs> She's rich. She's filthy rich. Ah, oh, too Oh, don't even! I'll be back for you. Hit the camera launcher. Message coming in. No. Patching it through. I have a difficult assignment, Commander. You're the only one I can trust to get it done. There's a criminal leader named Darius in the Skillian Verge who controls most of the raider activity. I'd like you to negotiate a ceasefire with him. Yeah, I just saw that system open up. <laughs> 